Hi guys, Lynn here, and welcome back to another Starfield Guide video. In this one, we have seven or eight more uniques to discover, including one of the game's best weapons, the Despondent Assassin Legendary Sniper Rifle. All of these are from random places as we mop up the remaining uniques to find in the game, so let's jump into it. A sidearm is purchased from Jimison Mercantile in New Atlantis. I can take care of her. Oh, please, take a look. Acid Rain is found at Apex Electronics in the well, but before you can get it, you must complete a retrieval quest for Salinas, and doing so will unlock his shop, where he has the Acid Rain for sale. The Ashta Tamer is found in a chest in the Empty Nest, which is the game's fourth or fifth main mission. Brute Force is a reward for completing the Red Mile, although I don't have it personally because it seems to be bugged, but my sister, who is also playing the game, did get this as a reward for completing the Red Mile, so it's definitely how you get this weapon. Peacekeeper is a reward for helping out some Freestar Collective members who are overrun with spacers during the side mission Ground Pounder. It's a lengthy questline, but completing it will reward you with the unique rifle. Short Circuit and Speechless Fire are two weapons sold at the Best Defense Shop next to the Hope Tech building on the planet Polvo in the Valo system. Lastly then, Despondent Assassin is a reward for a trio of quests in Aquila City. In the city, you can start a quest chain by speaking to Keone and a guard named Davis Wilson. This starts the Defensive Measures quest. Upon completing this, you will begin the False Positives quest, and then finally Leader of the Pack. All you need to do is complete Leader of the Pack, and you will be rewarded with the Unique Legendary Sniper Rifle and one of my favorite weapons to use, the Despondent Assassin. Guys, like and subscribe for more Starfield Guides, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.